Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nilroy. Welcome back to my channel, Fishing Trips. And we back for another vlog, y'all. All right, check it. Y'all, check this out, man. I'm fishing in this spot today, all right? Now, normally when I go fishing at the jetties, I go fishing at the Surfside Jetty. But if you look directly across the Surfside Jetty, there's another jetty called Quintana. Quintana Jetty, okay? So, I always wondered what the fishing was like at the Quintana Jetty. So, the thing I'm testing out today is the grass literally greener on the other side of the water because I'm gonna check out if the Kutwana Bay can produce some fish. You know what? I think I can. Enjoy the vlog. Let go! DLR in the building. I knew you were close because the wind started picking up. <laughs> What's up, brother? What's up, man? Nice to see you, man. Oh. There we go, y'all. We on, y'all. All right, finally. Let's see. Get out the rocks. Get out the rocks. Get out the rocks. Get out the rocks. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Cheers. All right, finally. Here we go. Got us a speckled trout here. As you can see. I want to see if it's a keeper. I think we need 15 inches. Nah, she's not a keeper. 14. So she's going to go back. Is that a sandy? Huh? Is that a sand trout? 14. They're like right here in front of me. Like, don't go far out. Like, maybe like 15 yards right in front of me. Yeah. This might be my first key. Might be my first key. Get on the damn boom. All right. We got a good one. It's about 13 inches. Too small, though. Let's put it back. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! go That's the keeper, baby. That's the keeper, baby. Alright. But we got it done. I hope y'all really enjoyed this vlog, man. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Let's go. Let go. We're gonna do it for MDLR right now. MDLR Mark went down that way because you see him catching. So what's gonna be funny is that he moved that that way. Then I'm gonna catch right here in the spot that we've been in. I'm gonna catch right here in the spot that we've been at. I'm gonna catch right here in the spot that we've been at. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Mark! You're bad luck, bro. <laughs> as soon as Mark leaves, y'all, we get on. I told you we was gonna do it. I told y'all, Mark was gonna go over there. I was gonna catch one. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Me and Mark MDLR with this double up, man. Boat keeper trial took forever to get these damn things, but we got something good to cook. Um, so yeah, hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Seven hours, man. It took seven hours to catch this damn thing. Seven hours to catch this fish, but it was totally worth it. And um, yeah, it's gonna go to good use as I figure out what I'm uh, um, making a kitchen for this particular species. All right, come on, let's go. Oh my God, Mark is on y'all. Mark is on something good. Mark is on something good. What is that? All right, y'all, so Mark is on something huge, y'all. Got it hooked up. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God, that's what I'm talking about? Come on, let's go, baby. Come on, let's go, y'all. And the yard all just came out, man. And he just hooked up on something nice. It's going left. Oh man, who bobber is that? Go mark. You go mark. Let's in y'all. That is the good set. So Mark just came out. Just on something good. Going on a trip. Let's go. 
Show. so we can chase it. Alright y'all, so I'm back at home and back in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the cat segment of the episode. So time to do some cleaning and cooking. Y'all check this out, man. When I'm out there on the water, I'm fishing trips, okay? But when I'm in the kitchen, Chef Roy RD. That's right, y'all. I'm a chef in the kitchen, all right? So we're gonna get to it. So what am I gonna do with those speckled trout? I'm gonna keep it simple, man. We're just gonna fry some speckled trout with a different batter, um, a different season. I wanna try, do a little stir fry. Real simple, real simple. Now look, y'all. I know those other cats clean and cook people you watch, the big YouTubers, they make everything homemade, make their bread crumbs homemade, make their fish sauce homemade, make their ketchup homemade. Look, man, I'm representing team, ain't nobody got time for that, all right? Sometimes you don't got enough time to be trying to make everything homemade. So what I'm gonna do on my channel, when I do my cats clean and cooks, I'm gonna be cooking simple things that you can do at home in like five or 10 minutes, all right? So that's the, that's the concept, that's the concept. We'll see if it works, all right? So let's do some cleaning. Let go. All right, y'all, so we have the Star of our Show. This is one of those 16-inch beautiful speckled trout that I caught there. Yeah. Uh, once again, this was caught under a bobber using live shrimp with a treble hook. So let's get started with cleaning. So once again, the filet of the speckled trout. We're going to come right behind the fin, right towards the head, and so. 
Now normally, like I say, you can just turn your knife and go all the way down, but I don't know. I like doing it the other way. It seems by just kind of taking your time with it, you have less pin bones and rib bones. So we're gonna just take our time with it. I'm gonna try to do it faster than last time. I'm trying to perfect my fillet skills to get faster and faster each time without sacrificing any of my limbs. Gotta watch some thins. All right, just hold the tail there. All right, so there's our first cut. So I'm just gonna work our way with the meat. There we go. Looks good. Go right around that rib cage. And so, oh yeah, once again, I'm using my um, nine inch Bubba blade. It's not sponsored, but holla at me, Bubba. So come right there. Right above that rib cage. With that air bladder. There we go. First cut. All right, next. Meat looks good. No worms. Put the trash up here. Just gonna work our way with our fillet. Let's go down. Right above that skin. Simple process, y'all. I'm so much better at filleting fish than when I first started because, you know, I'm catching more fish. And as they say, practice. Practice makes perfect, y'all. Practice definitely makes perfect. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and make our batter. Um, once again, I ain't trying to make no homemade bread crumbs and all this other stuff. We keeping it simple. So I'm gonna try this one first. This is something new. All right, this is the Tony Sazeri's fish fry. Um, flour mix, so we'll test that out, right? Just need a couple of eggs to base. And my secret ingredient, don't tell nobody y'all, is panko. Panko bread breadcrumbs is the secret ingredient, okay? So what we're gonna do is take a little of our fry mix here. Kind of just coat it up. Nice little layer. We've got about four fillets. So nothing too crazy. Put that to the side. Let's get our eggs. Okay. Trash away, another egg. I wanna be able to like, you know, break an egg with one hand. Just, I ain't there yet, but I will be. Space our eggs up. Like I said, the egg mixture is just a way to make sure that your breadcrumbs like stick to your fillets and create that wonderful looking crust, that golden looking crust that we're going for. All right, perfect, perfect. All right. Next, we're gonna get a layer of panko. And so, just as needed. Put that to the side. So there you go, y'all. You have your flour mix, egg batter, panko breadcrumbs, okay? Also, to spice it up a little bit, I'm, I'm gonna use this chukaraba, churaba. Y'all know that Mexican dog that be stealing babies? Well, apparently he got his own seasoning, right? So this is kind of spice it up a little bit. We're gonna put a little tad into our flour mix here. Bam! Okay, we'll just kind of stir it up a little bit. There we go. All right, now also while I'm doing this, I have my deep fryer um, warming up to 375. So let's get started. First, we're gonna just take our filet. After I rinse it with water, I did pad dry it very well. That filet nice and there we go. Go for that. Put it in our yolk. This is gonna help the breadcrumb stick, of course. There we go. 
Now, last time I ate speckled trout, I just kind of threw it on a cast iron skillet with butter. So this is going to be the deep fried test test, <laughs> test test, taste test. Like that. There we go. Got all them breadcrumbs on there, man. That's all the goodness. That's all the flavor comes. There you go. So that is our first breadcrumb filet there. All right, y'all, so next up, while my fish is getting ready to get deep fried, I'm gonna do a very simple stir fry. Let me put y'all on game, okay? Check this out, man. Kroger's, y'all. Kroger's has the stir fry starters. This is like $1.25. Sometimes they're on sale for like 99 cents. Bomb. It comes with noodles, broccoli, carrots, mushrooms. Y'all, this is such a simple meal. Only thing you need is butter, Soy sauce, there you go. Uh -huh. A little Pam, and I walk. Walk it, like I talk it, walk it, walk it, like I talk it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is spray up our walk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn our fire to high. I mean, when you stir fry, you're literally frying it, stirring it. So you have to have to have a high temperature. Okay. So we've got our tension on high right there. This is going to be a very fast process. Now you can use a half stick of butter. It's a little bit over overload because I'm only making one bag. So we'll just start with a half stick of butter or a half stick of a half stick of butter. Throw that into our pot. Wait for that to heat up. There we go. Get our stir fry ready. Nice, there we go. Pot ready. Alright, so let our butter starts to get melted up. I'll give you a closer look at the process. Alright, so we got this super hot. Mix it up a little bit. You're gonna do your stir fry for approximately about four minutes until your you know broccoli gets all unfrozen and crisp like. Okay. Now personally, I like to use Garlic salt. There you go. Focus. Whatever. So just a, little, it's a, it's a tad of garlic salt. All right. So let's get some ground pepper. And we're good, man. So mix that up. That's it, y'all. So about four minutes on high, keep stirring. You'll see a light sear on it. That's when you know it's ready to go. So we'll check back on this later, okay? Yes. So here are our fillets, ready to go. We're gonna just slowly drop it in. I'm, playing. I'm only gonna cook it for about two minutes. What a nice golden crisp. There we go. Put a lid on. Set your timer. Two minutes. And I think it's gonna be like McDonald's golden french fries looking. We'll see. All right, y'all, so it's been two minutes. Let's check on our fish. Let's see. Just like that. Y'all see that? It's just like that. We got a closer look. Nice golden brown. Do not overcook your fish. Done. Two minutes and done. All right, we're gonna sit this down. Um, let it rest for a second. We'll prepare our plate. We'll do the money shot.
All right, y'all, so there you have it. A very simple and quick, easy meal. That's what we about, easy meal, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's taste this speckled trout. So the meat looks very flaky. Like I said, I only cooked it for two minutes, so looks good. Then we'll cook it. Let's try it out. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's good. That was really good. It has like a firm texture. Mm. It doesn't have like a fishy taste, but It's definitely good. Now on a scale of, let's see, like mudfish to flounder, this is probably a, I'll give this a, I'll give it like a six. You know what I'm saying? Six. The speckled trout is not better than sheephead. Flounder is like my favorite fish to eat. Um, I think redfish may be better than speckled trout. So it's good, but it's like, oh my. Like I gotta eat this all the time. So yeah, six, six to a seven. It's pretty good, six to a seven. That's all I got for now, y'all. That's all I got for now. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Oh yeah, check it out. Once again, if you like the vlog, make sure to like it, smash that thumbs up. I would love to get 200 likes on this video for all the work I put into it. Comment. Look, y'all, I'm still a small time YouTuber. I got no time to respond to your comments. Talk to me, I'm gonna talk back. Share, share the video with your friends. Tell your homies, hey man, check out his channel. He dope, okay? Last but not least, subscribe, subscribe. The road to 10,000 subscriber continues. I'm at 3,000. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of 2021. I can do it only with your support. Thank you. Until next time, y'all. Peace.